Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am going to be doing, I, okay, well, honestly, I don't even know what I'm gonna be calling it right now because I've already done another video like this. It's either gonna be TikTok made me buy it again, or testing out new viral makeup. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so I did do some shopping at Sephora that I have seen all over TikTok, even just like new launches on the Sephora website. It's not a lot of products, but I do want to try some of them out. But I do want to let you guys know that I am doing a foundation wear test on the Makeup Forever HD skin right now as we speak. That's why I look like Uncle Fester right now. The under eye circles are coming out to play today. So you guys will be seeing a separate video on this. The one thing that I'm not gonna be trying on is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I had to get a refill of this. I had run out of my other one. I cannot live without this stuff. I hate that I cannot live without this because it's so expensive, but it is so bomb and I smell so good and my skin is so smooth. I did get like a few items in here and then I do have one item that is PR that I will be trying on with you guys today so let's go ahead and get into it because i keep talking and i'm sure you guys just want to see the makeups yeah i'm gonna put on my brows and i'm gonna go in with the nyx thicket stick it thickening brow mascara in the shade black absolutely obsessed with this i don't need a pencil to fill in my brows i literally just go in very lightly up here so that you don't get those blocky fronts and i'll go in like this and I'll kind of use the tip on the top to get what I need filled in on the bottom. But I'm absolutely obsessed with this. And I've gotten so good at this that I don't have to use concealer to clean anything up. I'm all about like low maintenance nowadays. So now that the brows are done, I'm going to get into concealer. Now I have three, I have two concealers and one corrector that I will be trying. The next product that I have here is by Fenty. This is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener and I got it in the shade Melon. Now I had seen a girl on TikTok try this out. She was of Asian descent like me. It may not look like I'm Asian, but I'm half Filipino. She used the shade Melon and when I had seen her try it, I was like, Oh my freaking gosh, I need this in my life right now. I always complain about my under eye circles and I need, I need that fix because if I don't, then it's not good. This is the packaging here. It's a little bit more lightweight than I thought it would be. I have some on the back of my hand. It is a little bit more of like a peachy pink shade and I need it in this area here and up here. I didn't start getting this until maybe like two years ago maybe. So it's fairly new. And I'm gonna pat this in very lightly. This brush literally does all of the work for you. I love it. It's so soft and lightweight. And oh my goodness, is this real life right now? What? You guys, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so I was not expecting that. Um, under eye circles who? My Becca one doesn't even do this. Okay, Fenty, I should have tried this earlier. I should have tried this earlier. If you have bad under eye circles and you have not tried this yet, this is a win in my book right now. 100% win in my book. Now we're gonna get into the two concealers that I have. We have the Dior Forever Skin Correct concealer. This wears for 24 hours. It's full coverage. I have it in 2WO. Honestly, when I swatched it in store, it still looked too dark. I may have to exchange this, but I had seen this on TikTok as well. Someone who was around my age saying, if you're around if you, something, something around my age, something rather, I can't remember. She was like, you need to get this. It will be your holy grail. It stays put all day. And then I had been seeing a lot of people commenting under Hailey Bieber's TikTok or something. And she had the Kosas concealer and I was like okay so it seems like everyone loves Kosas and I need to try Kosas so I got the concealer I did not see the foundation but I will be ordering that pretty soon to try out for a separate video so I do have these two and I don't know which one I'm gonna do I am gonna try this under the under eye area first 
just a tiny bit if it is too dark I'm not I'm not gonna continue with it but I'm just gonna do like the tiniest tiniest bit this is like my skin well I will go ahead and see if it turns orange under my eye Okay, the consistency is thick. A little does go a long way. You guys had seen how much I put. I'm gonna go ahead and lighten it up with the Kosas concealer. Again, just a tiny, tiny bit because I don't want a lot of cracking and just too much concealer everywhere. Okay, so just a tiny bit right here. Hmm, this has a light fragrance, like a flower scent or something like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and lighten this up just a tiny bit in the center. Okay, I really like this one too. The the scent though is too strong for me. I do like the concealer and how easy it is to blend out and the color is good. The Both of the concealers don't look cakey right now at all. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the Kosas concealer and I'm going to pop this in areas that I need like a tiny bit more coverage and that's pretty much it. So I gotta get my mustache area and then I gotta get where my pimple was. We're gonna lightly bounce that in. That did such a good job of spot concealing. I am completely impressed with these two. I have a former products here that I'm gonna try for you guys. I am gonna go ahead and pop on a little bit of like cream contour, cream blush. I'm gonna do my eyes and then we'll be back to try the other products. So I'll be back in just a second. So now that I have a part of the eyes done, we're gonna go ahead and get into the next product. The next product that I have here is by e.l.f. I have the e.l.f. Kimmel Powder Foundation. Got it in the shade 240W, which is what I have in the Camo CC cream, something like that. I do have the One Size Beauty and the Fenty one, which I actually do really like. I like using them as just a regular powder if I need a little bit more coverage. This is the packaging here, very basic. It's a little thick though. It does come with a mirror and it does come with a foam pad, which I'm not gonna use, I'm just gonna use the brush. So, oh wow. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't have oily skin, but I did have my Hollywood Flawless filter underneath it, and look at how that just kind of, it matted it down right away, but you can still kind of see a little bit of luminosity, which is nice. Feels really nice on the skin, and the color is absolutely perfect. And I'll use the excess of whatever is here. So, <laughs> that was really nice. Literally only tapped in a couple times, and I was good to go. So, I really do like this so far. The areas that I did add it to, it doesn't look cakey at all. The next product that we have here is by Lily Lashes. This is pretty new to their collection. These are the Luxury Synthetic Light Lashes in Adorn. This retails for $15. I think that's an amazing price. It is a lighter version though, so that's why it's cheaper, but it is a really good price. This one I got because it reminded me the most of the Ardell Wispies. Not the Demi Wispies, but the Wispies, except these are a little bit more fluttery, a little bit more volume, a little bit more full and I was like I need to try it they're handmade easy to apply reusable and vegan these are the lashes here as you can tell they're a little bit more full let's go ahead and pop these puppies on oh my goodness you guys Oh my goodness, I think this might actually be my new favorite lash. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so light. I love the amount of volume it gives you because typically their lashes are really glamorous and they're huge and not a lot of people like to wear them because they're too big, but this is like the perfect, like if you don't want to wear eyeliner, um, if you want more of like a natural day, oh. You guys are gonna love this. You guys cannot tell me that these are not pretty. I need to stop using pretty so much. These are so gorgeous. Oh my God, I love them. Yeah. The next product we're gonna try out again is by e.l.f. I've been seeing these everywhere and I'm so excited to try these. This is the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Satin Lip Product in Cinnamon Dreams. So this is more of like a brown tone. I've been totally into browns. Literally, that's all that I ever wear now. But I had seen this on TikTok and this girl, I don't know, there was like a certain lip liner that she had wearing with it and it looks so good. And after a while, this stain like it actually stains and it looks really good on the lips and I actually prefer that a little bit more so that I can just put a lip gloss over it later on instead of reapplying a lipstick over and over and over again 
Ooh, that is pretty. Okay. Oh, this is really brown. Really, really brown. I was expecting it to have like a little bit of warmth to it. It is like a cinnamon color, but it's kind of like a doo-doo brown. Like it really is. It's a doo-doo brown. That's what it reminds me of because it has like a hint of green in it. Mmm, it's really creamy. This is really pretty. I really like that. There is that. Absolutely love this. I think I'm gonna have to buy all the other shades because there's this one that was a little bit more like a reddish shade when it faded away it was absolutely gorgeous like and the girl had my skin tone and i just i need it now i need it the last product that i have is by milk makeup this is the hydro grip set and refresh spray now I did see mixed reviews on this on TikTok. This is an alcohol-free dual face setting and refreshing spray that sets makeup for up to 12 hours, hydrates skin, and provides a visible, breathable, glossy glow. It is a radiant finish. It's for normal, dry combination and oily skin. Go ahead and shake this up. I do love the color of this and the packaging is so, so pretty. I love the mister on it, but it does not smell good. It smells really bad, actually. It, I'm not gonna say what it reminds me of because it's gonna bring me back to a time where it's just that and it's not good. It does feel refreshing, and the mister is really nice on this. So that is pretty much it for everything that TikTok made me buy. I really loved every single product that I tried. And like I said, it's not a lot. I have a few items here. I'd probably say that the lashes are 100% my favorite. They are beautiful, they are fluttery. They're not too full, but they're full enough. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else you guys do wanna see, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have tried any of these products, if you have have any favorites that are in here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one foundation is your foundation oh my god it's so good to see you <laughs> <laughs> peas and carrots